first hearted. I mean, heard firsted about the Skinwalker Ranch. There was UFOs and anomalies and things. Greetings, Earthlings. It's Shane with Oddball Cards. In your time, it is March 2, excuse me, April 2, 2022. We are finally going to finish the last stack of this. I've had people tell me, you really love heritage. I do love heritage. And I feel like there's a short print in here and I want to find it. Already uncovered the relic and the chrome. So you never know what's in heritage. As, uh, as previously stated, Intercontinental Cards is on family leave. The power has gone to Hedgehog's head. Don't tell him I said that. This week he was... Uh, Telling me that he didn't know. Here's a nice Seth Beer rookie. I remember him in Bowman 19? Question? All right. Told me uh, that I had added the Pretty Reckless onto my playlist. And he was pretty surprised. He didn't think I would like something commercial yet fun. That I was a bit of a stick in the mud. And I told him, uh, hey, there's a nice new age performer of Jared Kellenick. Oh, gosh. Not a rookie anymore. Duh. This is 2022 oddball from Valdez and Kyle Lewis. So not as not as nice of a new age performer. Uh, he also said that he was pretty impressed that I was reading Alan Watts, The Way of Zen. He asked me if I was trying to be like David M., who I call Mr. Smooth. Uh, I, I don't think so. I'm not. Uh, I'm pretty high strung, but I do like... Uh, Getting my blood pressure down. There's a nice Michael Taylor. I have a whole bunch of national stuff of him. Rodone, Will Smith, another insert. Atlanta wins the World Series, World Champ, Adams Card Closet, tip of the hat. Here's a miscellaneous rookie of Max Kranick. Hey, another one, Matt Manning. Shout out to Lisa Zankiewicz. Zankiewicz? Zankiewicz? I think, I think I said it wrong. Jonathan Villar and the Mets that are a spending superpower. Nick Ahmed, and a Randall Gritchick. All right. I don't think we have any high numbers in here. I feel like we've just been invaded by inserts. All right. He also told me that my Chipotle was down and my shawarma was up. I told him, you know, you can't eat the same thing all the time, except for I kind of do. Uh, he is browbeating me for some more war, so I picked some people I like. Pete Alonzo's uh, war was 4.2 last year, which is better than I thought it would be. I love Pete, but I don't think he's a defensive giant, and he only hit about 262, which I think he went on a tear to get it up that high. Here's Christian Javier, Adam Wainwright. Here's an Acuna. That's a nice-looking card. It's just a base, but you can cover up the miscut card. Shout-out to Chatty P. And look at all these inserts. You're taking the place of high-number SPs. All right, Ty France, and kid you not, I just randomly picked some people just so we get familiar with war. John Means' his war was 4.0. If you're new to war, that means how many wins, if they stuck an average person in there, was he better? I was a little surprised that he was four wins better than anybody, but I've been hearing his name and I was curious. Mike Mustakas. Is one of the few reds not traded, and my buddy at my local barbecue place, shout out to Terry, told me that's just because he's hurt, and if he gets better, he'll probably be traded. Shout out to Shaka's Card Closet. Went months without sleeping because he didn't hear his name. There it is again. Here's a Wilson Contreras. That was the Chrome a couple videos ago. Stolen base leaders. That's an archaic thing. 32 and 40. Wow, I didn't know Witt stole 40. I should have drafted him in my fantasy draft. My second baseman is Jake Cronenworth in fantasy. Andrelton Simmons, another insert. Boo, we want short prints. Brett Phillips and Seth Brown. I have his autograph if you're a Seth Brown super collector. All right, this episode is brought to you by Zach's Collections Space Junker Night Races. It's also brought to you by Bum Lux Tiger Blood Smoothies and Freedom Sufferer Cards, Shrimp and Grits. You can get cheese, you can get jalapeno. Heck, you can even get cumin in there if you want. All right. Whoa, there's a Whit Merrifield. 
Nice. Did he really have that many stolen bases? All right, I'm tripping. He only had three stolen bases. No, that's three. I can't read. That's funny. That's triples. Didn't even have those. Never mind. That is my fantasy outfielder, even though he's hurt a lot. And yet another freaking insert. All right. Not meant to be. I guess I'll double check the numbers here. Here's Brandon Woodruff. Those Bre that Brewers pitching staff is incredible. All right. Hedgehog and David Pert came across laughing, sipping on their milkshakes. I wasn't invited to Del Taco. I was kind of sad. I was like, hey, guys, uh, we haven't done anything in a while. It's kind of my channel. I feel like we should go on a, you know, we used to go to concerts. We used to run around. And they laughed. They snickered and guffawed. And I said, what's so funny? And they're like, it's cute that you think it's your channel. We're a triumvirate. There's a Bobby doll back. That's nice. Yeah, I figured with the insert we weren't getting anything, but I wanted to double check. Uh, they said that's kind of cute. Uh he said, we've just come back from your middle school in Virginia in the 80s. 80, blah, 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 blah. And uh, they said, see all those boxes? Those are soy burgers we're bringing back. This is the last pack of this. Jackson Kowar. I'm sure I butchered that. Ian Happ. Kristen Yelich. That was the uh, relic in the box here. Dylan Cease. I have a ton of his rookie stuff, including his auto, because I thought he was going to be really good. Hey, love Jazz. Not a rookie anymore. Jake Rogers, shout out again to Lisa. We're both anxiously awaiting the start of the season to see Miggy get his 3,000th 3, hit. G-Man Choi and Josh Bell. All right. Um, hey, Jake Rogers is a high number SP. Not the droids we were looking for, but that's what we got, right? All right. Uh, David and Hedgehog said, well, it's, it used to kind of be your channel, but now we're a team. Like the three Stooges are Han, Luke, and Leia. And I was like, well, Chewie was in there too. You forgot Chewie and you kind of leave me out of things. And they said, well, you stress too much, Oddball. We don't want you to stress about details. It's really not your forte to do a lot of thinking and planning. I was like, ouch. Uh, I said thinking and planning, like how the space-time continuum is affected. They're like, well, we went and talked to ourselves in 2032, and there are not that many changes except for that Mike Trout is now a senator. And not a Washington senator, but like legal. His approval rating was crazy. I was like, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. We got a John Gray. I said, you're going to screw something up. Here's a Rizzo. So I'm, I'm sad and happy. I'm glad he's on a good team that might make the playoffs, but his batting average is in the dumper. All right, Edward Olivera's rookie. Yeah, nice Barry Larkin. We'll have you partner up there with him. Ooh, a nice Shohei variation. Now we cover up the black bordered Mookie. Michael Taylor. Shout out to Haas of Cards. It's a Michael Taylor hot pack. Hot box. It's not from one box. All right, I missed the moment. Never mind. All right. So, as usual, my email, Blackberry. I'm getting telegrams. Where in the world is angry old man? He's looped back to 1977. He was right. I didn't think he would go back to places. But uh, here's a Chadwick Tromp. Never heard of him. Wow. Okay. Miscellaneous rookie. Exhibit A. Whoa. Max Scherzer. I know he's intense, but you might make the odd gallery with that look, man. I uh, wonder if his picture in Chrome is like that. If it is, I'm going to have to find it. We don't really know what to do with the league leader cards, so we just litter the world with them. Lurie Garcia. Uh, my Dodgers, who are now the Yankees West, traded... For Craig Kimbrell, getting away of A.J. Pollock, he's like Mr. Like War Dream guy. Justin Verlander, let's hope he's back. A Debbie Garcia rookie. Hey! <laughs> it's Joey Gallo. <laughs> uh, I just laugh because he's like my bad penny that keeps turning up. Hey, Lisa, we got our wish. Here's a Miggy. You can cover up John Means. That's a base for John Means anyway. Cody Bellinger. J.D. Davis. 
Yeah, Angry Old Man's in 1977. Saw him at the Star Wars opening night in a long line. And he was, for some reason, autographing the Quintessential Sex Pistols album. I don't know if he went back in time and got himself to be a producer or what. But I appreciate you watching. As Paul C. always says, keep your head out of the sand, keep your head on a swivel, and keep a song in your heart. As always, Oddball out.